Are you serious? Are you serious? Drink some coffee and calm down. What? Why? Because this has been a very apocalyptic morning. Very, very biblically uh, profound morning. I mean, we've got this shooting in, in France. Twelve people dead. Ten of them journalists, including the guy who was the cartoonist of the infamous Prophet Muhammad cartoon. There was four cartoonists that were killed. Ten journalists in all. Two police officers executed on the street. All of it caught on film, or at least the executions on the street on film. France, Paris, France, up in arms. All of Europe starting to scream against radical Islam, including specifically Germany. But wait, there's more. There could be ties to ISIS. Yet, President Barack Obama is calling it acts of violence. He's yet to use the word terrorism. Well, while they struggle to figure out what it is in Washington, let me tell you what else is going on. Besides predictions that Vladimir Putin may resign in weeks, of course that was made by a Morgan Stanley, former Morgan Stanley financial analyst. That's not rumors coming out of the Kremlin. But I'll tell you what is happening. There has been a 6.6 .6 earthquake. My phone's ringing off the hook. Texas are coming in from everywhere. There's stuff happening everywhere. Are you serious? And, and Jesus said, Jesus said, he was asked a question. He was sitting on the Mount of Olives. He was asked a question. Lord, can you tell us the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Jesus said, there shall be false Christ and false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that should be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in divers places. And all of these are the beginning of sorrow. And he goes on to talk about great persecution upon the body of Christ. Tremendous persecution. And because iniquity abound, the love of many will wax cold. But he said, when this gospel of the kingdom is preached into all the world, then shall the end come. Well, let's go back to the earthquake. 6.6. .6. Just about the same time that the gunmen were shooting and killing 12 and wounding 10 in the streets uh, and, and in the uh, Paris Magazine in Paris, France. Besides this 6.6 .6 earthquake shaking the foundations of Panama, there's been 32 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, including 4.6 in Indonesia, 4.1 in Alaska, 4.4 in Afghanistan, 5.4 in Russia, 3.6 uh, .6 in Irving, Texas. I thought I just saw that one in at you. 5.2. Easter Island, 5.1, Taiwan, 6.6, .6, Panama, 5.0, Panama, 4.7, Solomon Islands, 4.5, Northern Marina Islands, 4.9, Papua New Guinea, 4.9, Fiscula, Fiscully Islands, and there's, of course, many other quakes that are a little bit smaller, but more than two and a half, and in America... They've been in Oklahoma, Nevada, Alaska, Texas, Oregon, California, just to name a few states in America. Unbelievable. But, but wait, there's more. There is great deception rising among the New World Order. And we're sensing a one world government in the shadows by the global elitist as they parade around the, uh, the burning effigies. Or is it an effigy? Ask Russ Dizdar. He'll say it's actually a real person in that. As the satanic rituals of abuse and worship by some of the global elitists continue to go on. What does go on at the Bohemian Grove? What actually is discussed at the Bilderberg Group? What are they talking about among the skull and bones and the masons and, and the other secret societies? The Illuminati. Well, 
as all these dark forces continue to manifest and ISIS continues to ravage these, the side of the land of the Chaldeans, and, uh, which is in Iraq and Syria, and the Christians are beheaded and murdered, as all these things are going on, the manifestations are happening on the earth. And a 6.6 earthquake has just shook Panama. I'll be back with more current world events. We will talk about all of these things, including the breaking news of what's going on right now in France. So you don't want to miss today's live broadcast. Matter of fact, the French president is supposed to speak at 2 p.m. Eastern. We'll try to cover that live, as well as maybe President Obama may speak during our broadcast. So our broadcast is at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. It's from 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. I'm right here in the cornfields of Indiana. We're trying our best to keep our hands on the, the plow, if you will. Keep our eyes on the road that leads from earth to glory. Keep our eyes on the cross that's taking us all the way there. Jesus be in the way, the truth, and the life. Are you saved? Have you been born again? I'm asking you a question. Are you serious? Are you saved? Have you given Jesus your heart? Call upon the name of the Lord. He is the Savior. He is the Messiah. Let him save you today, I ask in Jesus' name.